Moments ago, parents from all over Southern Oregon started talking about the topic that impacts almost every child. It's part of a bullying prevention program taught by a local expert who shares his knowledge around the country. Newswatch 12 Genevieve Rayom was there as those kids' parents learned the same lesson. She shares the story of how bullies in Southern Oregon are finding the courage to ask for forgiveness. In an empty room with no one watching, it might be easier to be more honest with yourself. But today, that wasn't the case. This room was filled with over a hundred students channeling their inner strength to be just as courageous in a room full of people as they are when no one's watching. And he kept pushing me, and then he kept repeatedly doing it, and then he started calling me bad names and stuff. So I wondered. Adric knows what it's like to be bullied. Today, he learned others have suffered through the same thing. Oh, one kid named Chris told me, "Why don't you go home and die?" Paul Coughlin was bullied as a kid. And now he teaches students to rise above it. Courageous people are not people who don't feel fear. After an hour presentation, Coughlin asked for some vitamin A. That A being apology. One by one, bullies came forward. I'm sorry. Nods of forgiveness, followed by applause. Give her a hand, you guys. Teachers wiping away tears as their students find the strength to admit what they did wrong. Even the advocates admitting to being the antagonists. I've always hated bullying. Once I did it, I was like, should I have done that? I don't think I should have done that. I think that was a little too rude. But both the bullies and the bullied, realizing that vitamin A helps them see both sides just a little bit better. You can't be scared to stand up. What you need to do is stand up for other people. You can stop and prevent bullying by making a friend. I really hope I inspire kids because bullying is just not a good thing, and standing up against it is a good thing. In Tennessee, there's been bullying so severe, kids are being charged with sexual assault. Paul Coughlin is heading there on Tuesday for five days to try and help that community recover. In Rogue River, Genevieve Rayom, Newswatch 12.